Hi, I'm Jason. Now that you know about the sewer collection system, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Brunswick Sewer District Wastewater Treatment Plant. The treatment plant replicates what happens in nature, but it speeds up the process. Are you ready for your learning ride? Buckle up and hang on. As you know by now, the Brunswick Sewer District Wastewater Treatment Plant receives wastewater flows from Brunswick and Topsom. The plant also receives septic waste from surrounding communities. There is a good chance that we treat your septic waste even if you are not connected to the BSD collection system. Upon entering the treatment plant and prior to any treatment, wastewater flows through a metering device. This device tells how much wastewater comes into the treatment plant each day. The BSD plant is designed to treat 3.85 MGD or a million gallons per day, but can treat up to 11.5 MGD for short durations during storm events. Current flow averages about 2 MGD. After being metered, Wastewater enters the headworks for the first stage of treatment, which is a mechanical process. Septic waste that has been collected and trucked in from homes in Brunswick and the surrounding communities is introduced into the wastewater flow at the headworks. The wastewater then enters a grit chamber, where air is added into the wastewater to freshen up the water and begin treatment. The air helps grit and large solids settle out of the waste stream. Grit that settles in the grit chamber is removed with a clamshell bucket hoist and the grit is disposed of at the Brunswick landfill. The clamshell hoist was constructed in 1966 and is still in use today. After the waste stream exits the grit chamber, the water passes through a diminuter. A diminuter is a device that grinds rags and breaks up solids. Although diminuters do a good job breaking up solids, even some small plastic, they cannot break up rocks and hard hats. Yes, we have had to remove a hard hat. Please don't send hard hats and other plastic toys down the waste stream. Diminuters do not remove rags, so the fibers reconnect downstream and create additional problems. Flushing rags and baby wipes is a severe problem that drives up the cost of treatment.